Hello and welcome. Hey, it's Brian G. Johnson from Marketing Easy Street and you're watching video number one of a multi-video uh, case study and tutorial about how social media and really marketing of your website can greatly impact your search engine rankings. And in this particular video, we're going to start talking how to pay attention to some search engine analytics specifically delivered by the Moz website. Now you may know or you may not know that Moz used to be called SEO Moz. It is a industry leading website that covers the gamut with social media, search engine optimization, they've got a community blogs, lots of free tools and that's what we're going to really talk about today. They have a great toolbar that I'm going to suggest you install and it's called the Moz toolbar and if we simply just access a Moz and then we come in and we click products you can see my cursor right here and then you come over and you click on tools and data you'll be able to access the SEO toolbar and I'm going to suggest you use the SEO toolbar because it provides a, a quick glimpse or overview of several key components and really gives you access to things that make your life easier when you're trying to understand search, search metrics, uh, page authority, domain authority, linking, uh, nofollow links, follow links, and a lot more. And we're going to talk a lot about this as we move forward with this tutorial because we're going to start wrapping things up and we're going to start from search engine optimization. And that's why we're talking about this toolbar. And then we're going to start diving deep into the marketing of your website. And I'm going to stress that phrase again. It's not about links. It's not about getting another plus, although that helps. And so does a, a, twi a tweet or a Facebook like or share, but more just marketing your site and driving traffic. And when you do that, that's going to have uh, an impact because those humanoids are going to do things like share your tr website with their friends. Some people might link to your site. Some people might share your site again. And it's that general marketing that you want to think about. All right, so let's just talk a little bit about what the Moz toolbar can do for you and how it's helpful. Well, first of all, uh, domain authority, okay? So let's take a look at not only domain authority, but page authority and how you're gonna use this to gain really a quick uh, overview or idea of how much authority a page or domain uh, possesses and holds. Let's take a look at that. So what I've done here is I've actually searched for WordPress tutorial SEO optimization. Now, what's important to know is that this is an extremely, extremely competitive search term. There are over 76 million results, and page one of Google is like a who's who with industry juggernauts. Uh, Yoast has got probably the leading SEO plugin. He's number one. And you'll notice here, and this is the Yoast, or I'm sorry, this is the Moz toolbar in action, okay? So notice we have link analysis and we can use that later. We also have PA and we have DA. So that's what we're going to talk about now. So page authority is PA. That's on the left right here. And that is a representation of the authority of this individual page. In other words, if I were to click this link, I would land on one singular web page. And this metric is a score. 81 is incredibly powerful. Now, the second score is the DA. That represents the domain authority. So if we look at this, Yoast.com, that's the domain authority. And when you install, the Moz toolbar, as I talked about, you can just click that here. You can basically have the same uh, look and feel when you search Google. And furthermore, a lot of other tools that I use also return, well, they return page authority and domain authority. And that gives you one metric that you can use across uh, a plethora of tools to get a better indication and understanding and you're, you, you're using the same metric across those different tools. That's really helpful. So you're going to want to install the tool. So we've talked about domain authority 
and page authority. And as I mentioned, we can come back and we can click on link analysis and we can get a general idea of some of the sites that are linking to this particular page that is ranking. You can see here, we're still on Moz. This is basically um, some of the sites that are linking to uh, Yoast, okay? And you can see that right here. We have WordPress, uh, Kodak WordPress again and again. And there are many, many links. We can see about 50 uh, inbound links from over 187 domains. Now we only get a look at about five of these, but still this is helpful and gives us a clear idea. Uh, I'm gonna click out of this. Let's go back. So you can get a, a, a really good indication of the profiles and the link profiles. You might have heard about follow links and no follow links. Now honestly, I don't pay a whole lot of attention to this today. When I link to websites from my site, I, I let the page rank flow. I'm not concerned about page rank. I'm not concerned about building links. Rather, I want to understand how they impact my rankings and I want to focus on the marketing of my site and creating great content, knowing that when I do that, I will get the results. However, by understanding how PageRank flows, I can really understand how social sites work, how other websites are linking to other sites and so on. So let's just for the fun of it, let's do this. Let's search for Poodle, or actually we're gonna search for, let's try this one, let's try, uh, WordPress SEO 2014. All right, so I've searched for this phrase. Let's see, I'm not seeing what I want to. Let's try another phrase, snow poodle. And this is what I was looking for. So number one, notice that I'm on the Google search engine and I'm using Google Plus, and my Google Plus results are, are, are being sent through the engine. Now, if I click on this link, I'm gonna be taken to Google Plus, and this is actually the post. I made a little GIF of my awesome dog, Otis, and you can see that here. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna click on this link here, and I'm gonna be taken to my profile page. Now, I mentioned that I can basically use the Moz toolbar to get an idea of what links Google is following and what links they're not following. And I can do that, I'll just drag this down here, by clicking on this uh, toolbar, and you can see I get highlight, followed are gonna be lit green, no followed are gonna be pink. So what does that mean? Well, here I am on Google+, Plus, and if I come and I click uh, no follow, any links uh, will be highlighted in pink. All right, so let's take a look at this. Right now, you can see that the toolbar has got some of these links and they're highlighted in pink, which means Google's not following it. But what's interesting about Google+, and we're gonna talk more about this as the uh, tutorial uh, continues, is that Google+, Plus is fully searched and indexable by the Google search engine. And many of the links are follow, which means literally you can link to your site, you can pass page rank, and you can gain a lot of things. And we're gonna talk about that more as we move forward. But just know for now that this plugin can help you identify what links are followed and what are not. Notice that I'm highlighted the no follow links and Pat here is, is his link is not being followed on my page, but um, my links are followed. And I can see that by simply coming up here to the toolbar and selecting followed. And here you can see all the links that are passing juice. And I'm just gonna scroll down and I'm gonna show you how this can impact search engine optimization. So here, here you can see, uh, this is my profile, this is a green link, and I've actually linked to another site, and Google is passing link juice to this page on optimized press. And this is interesting because here you can see there's a link to my site as well as some other sites. So this is an important function of Google Press, and you can see uh, some of the tools and functionality that you can gain with the Moz toolbar. 
And again, you can also gain some basic understanding of Google rankings and competition because you can use the uh, domain authority as well as the page authority when you're looking at the, the rankings right here. And you can use a tool that I like to use called Longtail Pro. And I'll have several videos on Longtail Pro in this detailed case study and tutorial that basically uh, merges social marketing and search engine optimization. And I'll show you how I'm using this tool, how I suggest you use it, and I'll also provide some details on just understanding how it works. That's coming up. So that's why you're gonna to wanna to use the Moz toolbar. You can just simply click this link here and install the toolbar yourself. And this will give you the same functionality that I've walked you through in this very video. Hey, there's a lot more great videos happening on this very blog post. And in the Google video you're watching, I'll provide some links. In fact, if you just click on the link right now, I'll make sure it's somewhere around here, hopefully. Uh, just click the link and you'll land on this case study and you'll be able to access this in-depth information that hopefully will help you to move forward and get some terrific results. So hey, it's Brian G. Johnson from Marketing Easy Street and I look forward to seeing you on my blog.